Hi lovelies, welcome to Managing My Money with Rosa. Today, we are going to review my debt and see where we are. We are currently on a debt-free journey. We are doing our best to pay down our debt as fast as we possibly can so that we can begin to enjoy things and not have to worry that we owe somebody else. If you're new here, my name is Rosa. My channel is all about my personal budgeting journey. It is about savings challenges, sinking funds. It is about all things budgeting Rosa. Once a month, I pull out my debt snowball tracker, which I printed from the Budget Mom. It is a free download. And I put in what I have paid for the month, what I currently owe, and just get a running balance for the year. I enjoy watching it go down, is really what it comes down to. We currently have five debts that we um, are working on paying off. One is my daughter's car. This is not something that I take care of paying. My child pays for it because it is her car. She knew going into it that was her responsibility and she makes the monthly payments. However, I am on the loan and therefore I do track where we are with it. We bought cell phones not too long ago, probably close to a year now. I don't really remember exactly. We should have paid cash. We made a choice not to. So we have a cell phone bill. We also have a mortgage on our house. We have, um, I have a new car, which is about a year and a half. I think it's creeping on two years old now. And then I have my student loan. And this really is just about seeing where we are with our debts. So we're gonna start with the car. Um, my daughter makes a one time a month payment on it in which this month that payment was $300. The new balance unfortunately is not $1403 because we of course it has to pay interest so some of that monthly payment is interest but now the new balance on here is $1417.36. And 36 cents. Love seeing it go down. They are expecting a new baby in June. With that, it just so happens it works out perfectly that her car payment will be finished in June. So kind of excited how that's all working out. Our cell phone payments are $65.42 a month. So now we are just underneath that 900. Fortunately, this is at 0%, yay! Which means that whole 6542 does come off the balance. So our current balance now is $875.18. All right, we will come finish out the total balance in just a minute. I guess I kind of did this backwards because I wanted this to be for all of them. Oh, well, we'll see how it all works. All right. Our mortgage, we started the year at $116,613.44. We make a $1,190 payment, which will go up next month. This payment includes both our uh, escrow, which is our homeowner's insurance, and our um, property taxes, as well as our principal payment. So really out of this $1,190, only $800 of it, is really our mortgage payment. Out of that $800, only about 400 actually comes off the balance. It's kind of depressing sometimes, but other times I like that we don't have to worry about taxes or property taxes or having to worry about the insurance and making sure everything is paid on time. So as we roll into the month of February, our new balance is $116,000. Oh, I wanted to do those green, silly me. I'll fix that. I'll go do, um, I'll wipe that out later. All right. My car uh, used to be a our top priority. However, with the um, student loan interest rates coming back in, our, my student loan is now our priority. We are doing the debt avalanche. Most people talk about the debt snowball method where you take the smallest pay, uh, amount and you get it paid off as fast as you can and then you move on to the next smallest debt, the next smallest debt, and so on. Uh, that 
I think is phenomenal for those that need to see those little gains and those little improvements. The number nerd in me wants to see, wants to pay as little interest as possible. That's the reality of it, guys. My student loan interest is at just under 6%. My car is only at 3%. So with that said, I make a choice to really pay off my student loan instead of my smallest debt, which really my smallest debt would be the cell phones. It should be gone. But again, I'm looking at, and my phones are at 0%. So I'm looking at long-term spending less money, which is why I'm using the Avalanche. So I am doing the debt with the highest interest rates gonna get paid off first, then my car, and then our cell phones. And the funny thing is that as soon as our student loans are paid off, like the next month, our cell phones are paid off just because that's naturally how it would occur. And then we'll end up paying the my car off. So for payments for my Mazda, I made a $370 payment, which is its monthly payment. So our new balance here is $9,178.60. And then my student loan, like I said, we are really throwing a whole lot of money at it. It is the priority to make it go away. I currently have it budgeted out that if nothing extreme happens, um, we actually will be out of my student loan, the car, and our cell phone um, by February of next year. So crossing my fingers, nothing happens where I have to deviate from that plan. But if I do, it's okay. It just means it's gonna take us an extra month or two to get done. And I am all right with that because I still have a goal to work on getting out of here. So this month we made total payments of $2,730. That is a huge chunk. Now, I wanna preface that with last month, December was a magic month for me. Because it was a magic month, that payment, I really I got paid on the last day of the month. So with that, I was able to take that check and a huge chunk of it went towards our debt, which is the only reason we were able to pay down this much because I still had two more January paychecks I didn't need to worry about. So between that big chunk at the end of December, which didn't get applied until January, and then also making um, our regular payments, I make two payments in January, we were able to pay $2,730, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm astonished at that price. Now, keep in mind that we are paying almost 6% interest. So I would love to say that whole 2,700 came off. It did not. Um, our balance, and I laughed. So the numbers nerd in me loves, I absolutely love and adore patterns. My current balance on my student loan is $22,220.55. And, 55 cents. and I just died laughing when I realized that. Um, I have two student loans. They are both now at $11,100. I'm actually $11,110 to be exact. And they total up to this. And I just, I thought that was so funny. I don't, I don't know if you do or not. Um, so overall, um, I'm not going to put payments here. Oh, overall, and I'm not going to put how much we paid here. Instead, I'm gonna say how much that we actually decreased. So in the month of January, we decreased our debt by $3,624.84. Um, like I said, unfortunately, there's interest in here. And this payment is um, only for 800 of it really is coming going towards the mortgage, but I'm so excited. We have not seen, um, last year, we would see a couple of high months, but again, this is intentional planning on how we are paying down our debt and making sure that we still have money for all of those other things that we need in order to live, as well as things that we need to save up for. So zero-based budgeting, if you are not a zero-based budgeter, um, there are a lot of videos out there. Um, I've done one on zero-based budgeting. It's about learning how to tell every dollar where it needs to go. And in doing so is the only reason we were able to pay $2,730 on my student loan this month and overall come down, bring our debt down by $3,624 and 84 cents. So going into February, and this is a number that I am, we are under the $150,000 mark and that includes the house. Yes. So overall, our total balance for debt is 
$49,929.42. Oh my goodness, love it. If you have any questions or comments or just want to say, hey, I'd love if you drop it in chat below. And I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.